Afro Power Volume 1 by Jason Ojemma. Um, so this came to me, I think he offered it to me through email, and it sounded cool because I believe it's, yeah, it's a graphic novel that he wrote and illustrated. And I, I thought the cover is so arresting. Um, and I, you know, I have a blog post on like natural hair. And so I was like, perfect, I can add it to that. But, um, I, you know, I think, I think the whole idea, like the whole idea of hair being just hair, like it's not, it's, especially if you have, um, you know, like, like textured hair or, you know, you have hair, you know, you, you have hair that can be styled into an Afro. Like it's, you know, in this case, Afros are not just hair, but a statement, like literally a political statement, um, a way to reclaim culture. Um, you know what I mean? Like hair is not just hair. It's, it's sort of like a way to um, also, you know, um, combat this, um, you know, white ideal, you know, sort of a white beauty standard um, that includes, you know, hair that isn't, you know, it, it's sort of saying like all hair is beautiful, not just hair that is straight and, you know, of a certain texture, of a certain color that's, you know what I mean? Sort of like the, you know, a stick straight blonde hair I idealization. So I kind of was like, I thought that was a great, you know, I thought that was like a great story, like, uh, you know, centering a story around this, I thought was great. And also, I think right now graphic novels are, you know, really like what a lot of kids prefer to read. And, you know, it actually is like, when people say, is that a real book? It's like actually requires more reading comprehension than like a chapter book or a middle grade book, because not only are you reading the words, but you have to interpret the images. So it actually requires more, you know, um, cognitive processing. So it's, it's actually, you know, it, it's wonderful when kids think, oh, it's like a comic book and I love reading it. And it's like one of those things where like, it's great, they love reading it, but actually they're learning even more um, because a lot of these stories tell interesting um, things that aren't necessarily in other forms of children's books, but also their brains are working overtime um, and they just think it's fun. My son who, you know, like didn't really read for pleasure after, you know, the older he got, the less he read for pleasure. Like once they stopped assigning reading like in, high school you know like reading for pleasure like when you no longer had like sanctioned you know go sit like you know drop everything and read time and it just seemed like he wasn't reading at all it was really hard to get him to read for, for pleasure but then I found he was secretly not secretly but I found that like he was reading manga a um, little bit like in hard copy but a lot of it was just on his phone you know I don't even know like how he accessed it like if he bought it online or, or I don't even know how he accessed it but and he was just like cranking through it. And I was thrilled because, you know, I think manga's great. Um, and uh, I keep trying to take him to this, um, this like one bookstore. It's, I think it's, it's more like a comic store. It's one big one um, in Kenmore Square. And it's supposed to have a lot of manga. And I was like, I'll take you there and I'll buy you manga. But we just like never seem to have time to go. But I mean, you know, I, same thing. Like I think there's no, bad reading material like if you if it gets your kid reading like that's fantastic you know and this looks like an empowering story the only my only my only thing would be like some of this text is so small um that it makes it not just hard to read but a little bit more intimidating um for like an eight-year-old but i don't i actually don't know what the age ranges for this i'll look it up like if it's for young adult i think smaller font is okay but like you know you can see like when the font size is bigger it's just easier to read and less intimidating so my only my only you know sort of advice if this were to be you know a series or you know if they were to redo it it's just to make the font type bigger because especially also for kids who are dyslexic just very small font is just harder to read but um, looks great and I'm excited to read it. So thank you to Jason Ojema for sending this to me and thank you for watching.